Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com. All right, so in this chapter, we're going to focus basically on finishing up the rest of the library module, as well as learning a little bit of workflow at the end. Now let's get started. We're going to finish up this left side panel. Uh, we're going to go over everything we haven't covered yet, starting with this navigator window. So the navigator is basically going to be kind of a preview window for Lightroom, and it's going to work a little bit differently in the library module than it does in the develop module. In the develop module, it'll actually allow you to preview different presets and stuff like that, whereas in the library module, it's going to allow you to preview different images that you're mousing over in the film strip. Now, you guys might remember when we set our preferences, you can actually control this. If you want to turn this off at any point, hit control comma or command comma to bring up our preferences dialog box. And under the interface tab, you can turn this show photos in navigator on mouse over on or off. So if we turn it off, it's no longer going to show those previews in the navigator window as we mouse over other items of the film strip. I do like having it on just so uh, you know I can see a slightly larger version of that image in the navigator if I need to. So it's something that you know it doesn't hurt to have it enabled. So we're going to close this out. The next thing the navigator window allows you to do in the library mode is quickly zoom to any point that you want. So from this view, we can open up the image uh, by clicking on it once, and it'll open it straight to loop view. You can also get the loop view by hitting E. Now from here, once we click again, it's going to zoom to whatever point we click on. And then we can control the zoom ratio over here on the top right side of the bar. So if I have it to fit, it's going to fit the entire image within our working area right here. If we set it to fill, well, it's going to fill left to right edge of that image. If we set it to one to one, it's going to give us a one to one pixel preview of our image. So this is a full one to one preview. If we go to three to one, we can get even closer on the close up detail. So if we need to do any, you know, detail touch ups or anything like that, we can get into the extreme detail. And you can even control this even further by clicking on this menu right here. You can get a pull down, which will allow you to go up to 11 to one pixel preview. So this is going to be 11 to 1 ratio uh, blowing up the image so that you guys can see any fine detail that you might need to correct or you might need to adjust. Now, for the most part, I would say uh, leaving this at 3 to 1 is, is more than sufficient. Um, like if you're touching up portraits and stuff like that, I'll typically use 3 to 1. But you guys can just know that you can change that if you need to. All right, so let's set this back to fit and let's move on. Now, in this catalog panel right here, what we see is kind of an assortment of different temporary collections. And it's kind of just based on your use in Lightroom and how you're using it. So we have the All Photographs collection, which is going to show everything in the entire catalog. We have this Quick collection, which you would set by hitting B on any one of these images. So if you hit B on an image, it's going to add it to the Quick collection. And it's a really useful way of just creating a quick image grouping. Let's say we want to select all the images from Paulus Verdes. Well, I'm going to unselect this one by hitting B again. And I'm going to select this image and this image. And I can have two images that are in my quick collection that are ready to be sorted however I want to. Now again, quick collections are temporary. So they will eventually get cleared out. So once you put in a quick collection, you do want to eventually organize them. You guys can show quick collections by hitting Control B or Command B on a Mac. And it'll automatically pull up the quick collections grouping. So we can see all the images that we've selected in our quick collections. Now, there is only one quick collection. So again, if we want to add more to this and it's a different kind of a grouping of images, we want to first organize these two images and then add additional ones later on. If you ever want to clear the quick collections, just right click on quick collections and hit clear quick collections, or you can hit Control Shift B or Command Shift B on a Mac. So let's do that now. I'm going to hit Control Shift B to clear my quick collections and we see it empty out. All right, next we have a temporary collection based on previous imports. So this will show you your very last import. So it's not going to show, like if you imported five times on this catalog, well, it's only going to show the fifth import, the very last one. And it's going to show all the Im images that were imported in that, in that one single import. So the reason why this is useful is if it's really nice to actually compare like a previous import to the actual numbers of uh, files on a CF card, just to make sure that you got all the files in that import. Next, we have this previous export as catalog. This is another temporary collection that was created when we exported these five files as a new catalog. It automatically created this collection. So if you haven't done this step, you actually won't see this temporary collection. But once again, if we want to remove it, we can just say remove this temporary collection, and it'll delete it from our catalog menu right here. All right, guys, so let's move on to the next tutorial where we're going to discuss the different folder options that we have in this folder panel right here.